So we know we are living longer. That means that we need to not only focus on tangible assets like building our wealth, but we need to certainly not compromise on intangible assets. So not compromise our health while we're building our wealth, because we all know that at some point in our lives, no amount of wealth can actually buy back good health. So the FAB quotient can help you to achieve resilience. And I'm gonna share with you just three components from the three different dimensions. Food is what provides our body with the raw materials that is needed to produce molecules that are needed to make hormones like serotonin and dopamine and GABA. And those hormones ultimately drive our emotions. And it is our emotions that almost always drive our behavior. And it is our behavior over time that then determines our success, either for the better or not. So a direct connection there, and what you're seeing on the screen is a simulation of happiness in your brain. I should have Farrell Williams playing here. So we've got a dopamine molecule being pulled along by an endorphin filament along a neuron sheath in your brain. That chemical reaction can only happen if you have the raw materials to do that. We need to be moving because sitting really is the new smoking. So on that note, we've been seated for almost an hour. Can I please ask you, those of you that can, to stand. Brilliant. Two. <laughs> two. Last one, last one. One. And stand. And I see a lot of white teeth from here <laughs> because motion shifts our emotion. It makes us feel good. So right now, your wizard, your prefrontal cortex, is firing up because it loves oxygen. We have to deactivate to reactivate. It's like a light switch. You don't leave a light on for 24 hours. You switch it off, and then you put it back on again. If you are in an open plan office, you would need an eye patch so that people know not to disturb you <laughs> for the next two minutes. And as that water washes up against your toes and covers your whole foot, you feel the cold of the water under the warmth of your foot. These are things that we have to have in our toolkit for resilience to help us recover, to sustain that high performance. And when your motivation is high, at the same time as something is easy to do, if those things happen together at the same time, combined with the trigger, that is when you're more likely to get that good behavior. I hope you can leave here with a higher fab quotient. Thank you. <laughs>